What's up Tube Tube? Welcome to Lo Guido's Chop Shop. The second best gel blaster battle mech channel on the tubes. And I think when I left you last uh, with the gel blaster battle mech, I was still waiting on a relay um, to arrive and I was still uh, waiting on a new servo motor to arrive to replace one that died unexpectedly. Now, uh, here I am. I'm still waiting on a relay to arrive uh, and the servo motor replacement that I ordered has arrived. Now interestingly enough I ordered the servo motor from AliExpress uh, after the original servo motor died and it's already arrived here. The relay I ordered long long ago when I started building this um, battle mech and it still hasn't arrived and therein lies the beauty of AliExpress. Sometimes you get things rather quickly, and other times, yeah, you don't. So, I've just gone down to um, JCAR and just bought a 5 volt relay board from JCAR, which is identical to what I would have got from uh, AliExpress. I just uh, couldn't be bothered waiting anymore, and when the other one eventually arrives, well, I guess I'll have two. I'm sure I'll find a use for it somewhere else. Um, but that's what I've got going now. I've got the relay ready to go. Um, I also, on if you look down here, let's oh, let's change the angle a little bit. So if you look down here a little bit, you'll see this is the um, the plug that comes out of the gearbox inside the turret, and I found amongst my stuff. A, um, I don't know if you can see it on that angle. Let's rotate that around a bit. Nope, still can't see it. More rotation. Alright, so I found here this, this wiring loom, which is... Obviously it's part of an old blaster which had the same connector. Uh, it could even be from an STD5, uh, well it wouldn't be from an STD5 STD because I never actually had an STD5. Uh, but I did have many other blasters from that era that obviously ran the same connections. So I've got that connection there and I've got this loom here which is basically, it's the OG blaster loom, it's got a micro switch there which was the the trigger and then that's where the battery would have connected in. What I've added here is I've added a master arm switch for the blaster so that when I first boot the thing up or if I just want to walk around without having the possibility of having it fire I've got a master arm switch so I can just disarm it make it uh, benign for lack of a better word. Uh, what I'm going to do with this, the rest of this r loom here, is I'm going to cut it up and run it through this relay board. So I'm going to use the uh, the digital pin from the Arduino to trigger this relay, which is basically the relay is just going to do the job that this micro switch originally did in the blaster. So it's basically that's pulling the trigger. I've got that programmed up to my PS2 remote control so that when I pull the trigger, it'll pull the trigger. I've got that master arm switch there as well, just as a safety. Alright, well, you might also notice I've added some bits here. Um, some armor plates and some other just uh, bits. Mostly, I've also I've also got like onboard tools up here, optional onboard tools. Mostly just uh, for looks. Just, uh, just I don't know, because I want to for looks. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wire up this relay and have it so that it'll operate the gun when I pull the trigger on my PS2 controller. Now, there's some other things that I've done while you were away. Um, I've printed off some little uh, cap head things for screws. Um, I 
I've got one here. Basically the story with this guy is that he's going to screw from the bottom onto the posts that these that this turret mounts on and these guys are mounted in 8mm hole this is a 9mm thing so I'll be able to screw it through the bottom and that'll just stop it from say falling off give it some attachment point that's not undoable I can remove it if I want for maintenance and processing alright let's get going on this now, so in theory, with the way I've designed this, I should be able to unplug this connection, which is the connection to the to the blaster, and then this should pop off. Oh, there's a couple of other wires there. I forgot to mention another thing that I did while you guys were not here is I've added a laser diode into the end of the turret here so uh yeah so it should well lasers because lasers why why not and i've just got that triggered off of a um off of a one of the digital outputs on the arduino and so i'll just disconnect that um yeah so that's just i've added that in the bottom of the hop up uh was actually printed uh, with that in mind So it's got two holes there one for the barrel and one for the laser diode All right now Let's check this all out now hopefully I should have a place on the board here somewhere where I can uh, Put this relay. I've already sort of pre-planned the the wiring for the I got the three pins already here um, ready to plug in um, but that's not where the thing's gonna live although in theory I could depending on the orientation of these pins I could probably just plug the board <laughs> plug it directly in there hey that would be <laughs> I might not have enough headroom I might mount this um, somewhere over here maybe and then just run a little fly lead over to there all right so I'm gonna get that done I'm, I might even 3d print something I might of course I will what am I talking about I'm gonna 3d print something to, to sit that on top of probably um, where's a convenient place for it to sit All right, I'll work this out. But before I work that out, what I might actually just do is quickly run some fly leads and make sure it works. Make sure the thing functions as intended. All right, I got this jumper lead here. Has anyone ever noticed that you can just cut the pins off a male jumper and make it into a female? Uh, me neither, but apparently that's what I've done. Seems like it works. Alright. Hopefully that works. Maybe it's designed that way. Maybe I just didn't know. Alright, so I've got uh, grey is signal, which is that one. We got purple is positive and blue is negative. All right, so um, white one needs to get out of the way. Let's just see if this works. If it triggers the if it triggers the relay when I trigger my thing. All right, I've had to change the orientation somewhat so that my USB lead could plug in because if you were paying attention, um, I had 
uh, coded my uh, pin 13, which was this LED down here somewhere, to be the um, uh, triggered when I when I press the button. But um, what I want is I want this to trigger when it's connected here, and this one here was actually uh, connected to pin uh, A2. So I've just changed the code slightly so that A2 is the um, shoot variable. If you remember when I, when I coded this, I set the uh, shoot variable in, instead of putting uh, pin 13 at every point in the code where I wanted it to go. Now all I have to do is change in the definitions when I'm declaring that constant, all I do is change it to be A2 instead of 13. And now, the moment of truth. Hey, it works. It works with so much gusto, it knocked itself off the top there. You can hear it click. And as an added bonus, the um, the actual relay has a little LED built onto the board as well. So you get that cool LED lighting up goodness. That's fun. I love it when a plan comes together. And um, you may have noticed if if you care at all. I mentioned that I'm in A2 where I was in 13. 13 is a digital output, A2 is an analog output. You can just tell the code that uh, your analog output is, you can you can digital write. You can write a digital output to your analog output because a digital output is, well I mean an analog is it, just 5 volts or no 5 volts. So, so you can just tell your analog to be a digital for the purposes. I mean, I got heaps of digital outputs here, but where my little shield that I built plugs in, it was just convenient to have that pin right there because that's where it is. Uh, all right, and for what it's worth, cutting the pins off, and making them females, also works on on these leads. Who knew? All right, I'm going to uh, uh, I'll print something up and I'll get this mounted up neatly, get this wired in neatly, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get this hooked up to the, get this relay hooked up to the blaster. We can get shooting. Okay, so I have 3D printed a little uh, saddle here. For the relay, the relay sitting in it, it's wired to my little shield there with the three pins there, and I've got the uh, common and the normally open wired to via my master arming switch to this little connector here, which connects to the Blaster motor. All right, let's juice it up. Just plug it in. Get my controller on. All right, so should be able to trigger the relay here. All right, and I'll have all my uh, controls here for the legs. As per normal. All right. Good progress. Good progress. Now, in theory, all I should have to do is put the, the top on, mount the turret on top here, plug this connector in uh, and of course plug the the pins for my laser as well and we should be good to go all right got it plugged in switched on hooked up 
Oh, yep, <laughs> she's alive. Um, we got this button, this one for the laser. I don't know if you can see that in in the end of the gun there, the laser lighting up, and this one for the relay. Oh, can you hear that click? Got the master arm disabled. I'm gonna enable the master arm. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take her off the stand. She's gonna stand on her own feet. All right, stand up. <laughs> you may rest. All right, well, that's pretty good. I'm going to have to leave it there on a little bit of a, uh, a cliffhanger, I guess. But don't worry, the, uh, the reveal, I've got something, I've got something big planned for that. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. Those who have bought me a coffee using the link down below. Uh, Adam Hoy, Bill Thomas, cheers, thank you very much. Um, you can also support by clicking the link below if you want to. If not, just hit the subscribe button because then you'll see what's going to happen uh, in the next episode. Oh wait, some mail's just arrived. Hang on, what's this? Ah, god damn it.